let me show you a couple of the things for the older kids or even for the adults. We're going to start by painting a base color. I like to get two colors of blue and we're just going to do some really big teardrops right into the corner of the eye like that. Next, we're going to get some red and some pink. I'm still using my half inch filbert and we're going to do the same that we just did only from the other direction. And this one can even come a little bit down onto the bottom of the eye. Now while that dries, I'm going to show you something on the other side. And we're focused right here on the same spot. And we're going to just draw a bunch of lines that all end right there. A little burst of teardrops that go into that area. And then maybe a couple of curls. Then up on the top, I'm going to bring one that comes down. And then one here that comes out into a peak. As you can see, there is one big circular shape that we are painting a C right around the eye. I like to do a couple of loops right here. This is a number two. Anywhere I've got some empty space, I'm gonna draw a line. And this line will have a little bit of a thin to thick to thin, but none of them are gonna end bluntly in those teardrops. And this is a little bit ordered, but it's also a little bit chaotic. This is gonna feel like a firework. Now there is not a royal blue out there that I like, and so I often mix my own. And then anywhere that we have a big enough open space, I'm gonna put a little star. You can actually draw a star like that and fill it in. You can do the grade school star where you do a triangle. You could leave it open, that's super cute, or you can fill it in. Or the way that I typically go about it is I just do the five flicks and then I just kind of thicken the points down towards the middle. Nature comes in odd numbers. I've got three, so I'm just gonna add two smaller ones to keep it odd, but add a little variation. Once I have my firework down, I like to just see where does it need a little something extra. And I think we need a few little dots right there. Let's add just one of the other kinds of stars in the white to let it be fun. And sometimes I even do this design all in white just because I feel like it's so pretty. Over here, everything is existing in the same level. There might be a few overlaps, but it's all right there together. What we're trying to do on this side is we've created a background and now we're gonna put something in the foreground and just create that cluster there. And then from that cluster, we can bring down a swirl, bring up a teardrop, bring another swirl down here. We can bring another one down and out like we did on the other side. There's a pocket there we can do a couple little loops into. And then anytime you have these little teardrops that you've done, you can come in and do a little background, add in some of our little stars, some little dots. I'm gonna just go ahead and shadow a few of these. And that's really gonna give us that layered look. And we can even use that dark blue down on the bottom half. I like to pick the color of sparkle that matches the background and just kind of tap it in there. Now I'm going to use a pink instead of a red. I'm going to use a silver on this side since we're bouncing between colors so much. Oh, it's beautiful! Which one do you like better? That's tough. You've got option one, option two. Another really fun thing to do is if you just want the top half. It looks really cute. And you can do the top half on both sides. You've got a crown option. You could put in some festival glitter on the cheeks to really bring it together. Of course, there's always more options. <laughs>